Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today we're talking about this Milwaukee six-piece multi-nut driver, part number 48222921. Their SAE sockets, you can take a look here and see what the socket loadout is. Their Milwaukee Shockwave impact rated sockets. Let's check it out. Now this Milwaukee tool just came out, but you can see it's very similar to Klein Tools 7-in-1 impact flip socket set with handle. Now I have the older version here, we'll talk about that. But let's just compare these two tools here real quick. Now before we do that, here's a quick look at the tool. You can see we have three different sockets, each one with two different socket sizes on them. So let's just look real quick how it works. You can see I have a quarter inch socket here. It's got a magnetic down here in the shaft. So if you put a screw in here, you can see it holds the screw magnetically. I can then take this socket, take it out, flip it around, and you'll see now I have 5 16 bit on here. So I can take a 5 16 screw, pop it in there, and now I can drive this 5 16 bit. Now, these other two sockets are just stowed on the shaft. So if you remove the shaft from the handle, we can take these two sockets off, and you'll see I can take this flip socket off the end, and I can pop this on, and now I've got a 3 8 socket there on the end, right? Or I can go up here and I can put this 9 16 out, and now I've got a 9 16 socket. You can see it's got this magnet strong enough to hold this 9 16 bolt. All right, or you can take this shaft and these sockets, and you can pop it in your impact. They're impact rated, and you can run them in your impact. But that's the basics of how this tool works. All right, let's compare it to this Klein 7 in 1 impact flip socket. You can see here they both have handles with collets on the end, both are very similar. Let's take a closer look here at these sockets. Now, you'll notice the sockets have the same color coding, you know, red, yellow, blue, brown, same sizes all the way down, except they have a different color here for 9 16 The Milwaukee's yellow, the Klein is orange. I noticed that the laser etching on the Klein is larger than it is on the Milwaukee. To me, it's more pronounced, and so are the color rings. They're easier to see, and they're, they're larger. Let's take a look, closer look at these sockets. You'll notice the Milwaukee sockets here on the right have a thicker wall than the Klein sockets. And that's true of all these socket sizes. You, you notice on the Milwaukee, they just have one taper here. They don't reduce the size here on this quarter inch. If you look over at the Klein, you'll see there's a taper edge here where it tapers off and gets smaller. You have a thicker wall in the Milwaukee's, but these Klein's will fit into tighter spaces. Let's take a closer look at these sockets. Now we're looking here at the 916 sockets. Again, notice that they have a thicker wall in the Milwaukee socket. But another thing you'll notice here, the Milwaukee has a beveled edge. They've rounded this outside edge on the Milwaukee, and they've also beveled it here, and they've milled out the corners of this hex. You look at the Klein, you'll see they're not milled out on the corners. These edges are flatter and sharper, both on the outside of the socket and the inside. So the Milwaukee's are, are, are milled out differently, and I do like this beveled edge. That beveled edge is gonna make it easier to get on a fastener. It also is gonna make it more likely you don't round off the corners of a fastener. Now, if you look at this Malco bit, you'll see that it's not beveled on the edges either, just like the Klein. I found sometimes on the Klein, when I'm removing these sockets, sometimes I can pull this socket down. Let's say I'm trying to adjust it, get your finger pinched in there. There's a bit of a sharp edge on there. I don't feel that with a Milwaukee. If this Milwaukee bit comes down and it catches your finger, doesn't hurt at all because they have these rounded edges on here. I think the sockets are more finished. Now I have two Klein 7-in-1 flip sockets here. This is the older version on the left, the newer version on the right. If you look at the original version, you can see that there's a taper edge here before the socket gets smaller. On the newer version, they've tapered it much earlier on the socket, making this full end here smaller than the original. I've noticed the sockets on this original Klein 7-in-1 are closer in thickness to the Milwaukee, right? They have a similar thickness of the sockets. Again, we're looking at the original Klein flip socket here, and this is the new Milwaukee. And if you look at these two sockets, you'll notice that this one has a lot thicker wall closer to the size of the Milwaukee. If I put the original Klein 7-in-1 flip socket, which is on the left, up against the Milwaukee, you can see how they're similar in terms of thickness. So I think as the Klein updated this 7-in-1 flip socket, they've intentionally made the walls of these sockets thinner and slimmer so they can fit into tighter spaces for electricians primarily. And therefore the sockets have a thinner wall than the Milwaukee flip sockets. Now there's some key differences between these two tools. You can see if I take a C6 one inch bit, I can drop it in this climb. I then can take this socket and push it up and you'll see it goes right up around that bit. And now you can drive bits with this quarter inch socket. You go over here to the Milwaukee, you drop it in, it'll hold it. It doesn't have the same fit, and this socket does not slide up like that Klein does, so it doesn't have that same feature. Now, another major difference I've noticed is if you take off the sockets that are stowed on the shank. Now, if you remove the sockets that are on the shank and you're running the tool like this, you'll notice the Milwaukee has a flange right here. So if you were to put this 
in your impact and you have this on a ladder, let's you put it in a hole at the top of a ladder and you pull this out, you're not gonna knock that bit off. But the Klein doesn't have that flange. Let's say you're on a ladder and you're using this Klein flip socket and you rest this in the hole in the top of the ladder. When you pull it out, you have a chance that you'll knock the bit off just like that. I've done it before about three times one time in the landscaping, working on the outside of a building. Now let's try that with the Milwaukee. Because it has this flange here in the end, every time you pull that out of the ladder, you're not gonna knock that socket off. So that's an improvement to that Milwaukee. It reminds me of the Malco. Malco makes a flip socket that they're very well known for. You notice in the Malco, because of the way this flip bit's designed, same thing. If you were to pull this out of the ladder, you're not gonna knock the socket off this one either. You can see here how this Milwaukee bars from the design of the Malco. It has that flange here on the end that keeps you from knocking off the socket. Now the Milwaukee's not gonna help you with bigger sockets because when you put bigger sockets on, they go right over that flange. You can see the flange ends up inside the socket, so these could be knocked off, but it's less likely you'll be running these larger sockets on a ladder, but you could be doing it for some of the smaller ones. Like, you probably wouldn't have the problem in the 3 8 but you could potentially hook the edge of the 7 16 maybe if you caught it just right, but it does help you with this smaller 7 16 and 3 8 socket a little bit. Let's compare the drive shanks of these two. I've got the Milwaukee here on the right, I've got the Klein on the left. Now you might have the question of whether these are compatible, they're not. Even though they both have hex shafts, you can stow the bits from either one of these on the shaft of either driver, right? So you could put Milwaukee bits and stow them on this shaft. You could stow Klein bits on this one. You can't drive them with it though. And that's because Klein has these splines on each corner of the hex. So they both have hex shafts, but the Klein has these splines on it that only work with the Klein bits. So if I take this Milwaukee bit, it's not gonna fit on the Klein. It's gonna come down, it's gonna hit those splines and you can't go any further. If I take the Klein bit, you can see that it does fit on the Milwaukee but the magnet is much deeper. If you notice the magnet on the Milwaukee is more recessed, the magnet on the Klein is, it, it raises up a little bit higher, so it's more pronounced than it is on the Milwaukee. I don't know if that's gonna help retain the magnet better or not. It does make for a slightly stronger magnet. Now we know the Milwaukee and Klein bits are not interchangeable because of the spline drive on the Klein, but what about Malco? If you look at this Malco shank, you can see they're very similar, that just the ball bearing is in a little different place on the Malco than it is in the Milwaukee. But if we take a Malco bit, and we put it on the Milwaukee, because they are both hex, it just goes right on. Grab the Milwaukee bit here, put it on the Malco, and it goes right on. So the Malco and the Milwaukee are interchangeable. Now you notice if we compare these two that the Milwaukee is a little bit shorter, and most of that has to do with the fact that the Milwaukee has a shorter handle. If we compare these two handles and we match the cullets up where the bits actually load up, you'll see they become similar in length and you can see the difference in those two handles, right? If we put these cullets here where they're matched, that's where the shafts go into the drivers. You can see that the biggest length difference is the fact that the client has a longer handle. So I would like to see this client handle a little bit shorter. And the other reason it's a little bit longer, you'll notice all the client bits are longer than the Milwaukee bits, right? If I put them side by side, you can look at the 916 and see that the client's longer. You can go up to the next socket, and see that the client is longer on the next size up. And then we go up here to quarter inch and 5 16 you can see it's longer. Now, I think part of that has to do with the fact that Klein has that spline drive and the fact that this socket has the ability to be slipped up to take bits, right? And that might have driven all of these sockets to need to be bigger in order to accommodate this spline part. Now, one thing about these drivers that's really nice, and this is true if we're talking about any of these, whether it's the Malco, the Milwaukee, or the Klein, is they're all designed that if you get the socket dirty, you pop this flip socket off, because it's really great about it, and you can just wipe that off and get all the magnetic shavings off and clean the tool up versus a socket that's non-removable. So it's one of the big benefits of these flip sockets. All right, let's take a look at this Milwaukee handle. You can see on the end here, it's labeled with a hex and it says Impact Multi. The red part is a hard sort of polymer with a black rubber overmold. Uh, the rubber's nice, but I'm not crazy about these splines that it has on it. And I just feel like the handle's a little bit small, but the worst part about this handle, and this was pointed out rightfully so on Morgan's maintenance channel, is the shank is not tight in the handle. And you can even tell more so if I flip it around and hold the socket so they don't rattle. Now you're just hearing the handle rattle. You can see that play there. Now, let's compare that to the Klein. I bring the Klein up here. There's less play in the handle. Let me just pull it up here. You can see it's minimal play in this Klein handle. You can barely hear that. I hear it a lot more in the Milwaukee. So, so if we were to take these Milwaukee bits out, put them in this Klein handle, you can see that it gets a lot quieter. Right, so the Klein has a better handle for sure. So if you're gonna use the handle, be aware of that. That got me to thinking, how would these flip bits fit into a Klein Tools 
14 in one driver or the 20 in one. This is the one that has bits stored in the handle. When we put it in here, you can see it locks right in, right? So then I got curious and I said, well, what if I take the bits off that are stowed on the shank? Would it work? And you can see it clicks into place there, there. It hits all those notches and locks into place. Even the lowest notch, right? You can, you can run it right from here, it locks up. So it does work in the Klein Tools 14 in one adjustable. I have a link to these products in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new Milwaukee driver. Do you have one? Have you tried it out? Or do you have already have the Klein? For me, it's kind of a toss up. I like the fact the Klein has the bit driver in it, though I don't use that a whole lot. Uh, I also like the fact this Klein fits in the tighter spaces, but I like the smoother beveled edges of the Milwaukee and the fact the Milwaukee has this flange here to keep the sockets from getting knocked off. But I think the markings are better on the Klein, so there's things I like better about both of them. I definitely like the Klein handle better, that's for sure. I think this Milwaukee's a nice set. I think it's good that these sockets are shorter. You know, this is gonna take up less, a little bit less space in your bag. You can see I can pull that down. But both these flip socket shafts alone take up about the same space in your tool bag. So it comes down to what your preferences are. Do you want the thicker walled sockets of the Milwaukee with the flange here? Or do you want the ability to drop bits with the Klein and fit into tighter spaces? And the fact the laser etching is larger and easier to read, you know, it comes down to what you're looking for. Please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you on this channel. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.